On May 13th, a video was posted showing a vehicle directly hitting a truck while attempting to park in a dimly lit parking lot using the automatic parking system. The car owner, who had owned the Huawei Wendia M7 for five months, claimed that the automatic parking function had turned into automatic crashing. There was no warning or alarm when the truck was in front of the car, and the alarm only sounded after the collision. The car owner contacted the manufacturer immediately after the incident. The customer service response indicated that automatic parking should not be used when approaching a truck, because the parking assist sensor could not recognize such specific obstacles. Therefore, the responsibility for the accident was attributed solely to the operator. Expressing disappointment, the car owner questioned, if such a big truck can't be recognized, how can it recognize people? He strongly criticized the Wendye M7 and warned other car owners to avoid using its junk parking system. After the video was shared on the mainland Douyin platform, the account that posted it was quickly blocked and the video was removed. The Wendye M7, which utilizes Huawei's intelligent driving system, has faced recurring safety issues. On April 26th, an M7 caught fire while pursuing a maintenance truck in Yuncheng, Shanxi province, resulting in the death of three people in the vehicle. The car exploded and caught fire, and the occupants were unable to escape as the windows couldn't be lowered. The hidden door handles also failed to pop up. This incident raised significant concerns. Another Douyin account shared a video titled, Wendye's new M7 almost killed my family. On the same day, the video allegedly showed a driving incident from March 23rd, depicting the vehicle colliding with sand mounds, signs, and green belts on the roadside, while the occupants were clearly distressed. Due to Huawei's close ties with the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, and accusations of being a state-owned company, the CCP often censors information exposing security issues with the Wendye M7. Even mainstream Chinese media platforms are not exempt. On April 30th, a retraction letter from the 21st Century Business Herald circulated online, requesting the removal of an exaggerated propaganda article published on the newspaper's WeChat ID on April 28th, deemed to mislead consumers. 